We're nearing the end of Overwatch Contenders Korea Season 3, with Week 4 closing with 4 of the 8 playoff spots and 2 of the 4 relegation spots confirmed. And even though they're entering the home straight, there was still plenty of time for some last minute roster additions. Group A opened with Runaway vs Blossom on Saturday. The 1-3 loss sealed Blossom's relegation, though they did manage to scrape it together on map 4 and take Dorado, giving Runaway their second map loss of the stage so far. Sunday saw MVP Space take on O2 team, with MVP's victory locking in their playoff spot. And lastly, Geekstar vs WGS Armament happened on Monday, in which WGS just turned it to 11 out of nowhere and put on a surprisingly dominating 3-1 show to keep them in playoff contention. In the group of death, Stormquake continued their rise after a shaky start with a 3-1 win against Kongdu Panthera. Meta Athena's 0-4 loss to Gen.G has put them out of playoff contention, and the titan matchup of Element Mystic and GC Busan Wave proved to be surprisingly one-sided, with Element Mystic's 4-0 victory securing their first seed spot and a near-flawless run for the next stage. But hey, stellar group stages haven't necessarily meant much for Element Mystic in the playoffs of the past, so here's hoping third time's the charm. Time is tight and time differences are no one's friends, so if you only have time to catch one of the games from week 4, then it has to be the GC Busan Wave vs Element Mystic game from the 16th. Scoreline aside, it's worth it alone just to see Element Mystic's DPS Sparkle ascend. This kid was on Doomfist punching Farah's clean out of the sky. As for this week, there's a lot on the line since there are 4 spots left and 6 teams in contention, but if you can only catch one game, the O2 team vs WGS Armament on the 24th is likely to be the deciding game for the 4th playoff spot from Group A. And with WGS's recent surprising performance from last week, who knows how it'll go. As always, you can catch the games on the official Overwatch Contenders Twitch channel, or if you're here in Seoul and want to catch a game live, tickets are still available online via Interpark. This week, Meta Athena has a new but very familiar face amongst its roster, with Genji Legend and North American Contenders Champion Who Are You joining the lineup. Philadelphia Fusion has confirmed that Who Are You is still under contract for Fusion University, and is only on loan to Meta Athena. This comes after another round of attitude issue rumours that seem to follow Who Are You around constantly, though it looks like it will be a relatively short-lived deal since Meta Athena is now officially out of playoff contention. And in other new addition news, freshman org Geekstar has added a 7th player to their roster with support player Dobie. We didn't see him against WGS on Monday since he was only announced on the 15th, but there is a good chance we'll see him on the 23rd in their match against Blossom because, well, it's Blossom. And to close out this week, Fox has announced that they have rebranded. They plan to start anew as White Whale in John Esports, W-I-E for short, going into the new year. May their mascot's regal moustache bring them all the luck they lacked in 2018. And that's all this week. As it is Christmas next week, we will not have a video on Tuesday, but we will be back in time for the playoffs, so I'll see you guys then. Bye!